All right, what's up guys? So for our topic, we're gonna to be writing linear equations given a point and a slope. So to write the equation of the line passing through a coordinate point with a given slope, we're gonna be using those two things uh, and the point slope formula to generate a linear equation. So right here, the equation in blue is the point slope formula. So it's y minus y sub one equals m times the quantity x minus x sub one. So y and x are gonna be the same, but y sub one is gonna be the y coordinate of your coordinate points, and x sub one is gonna be the x coordinate of your given x coordinate on the coordinate points. And m is gonna be your slope. So we're gonna be using those two things to generate an equation using the point slope formula. All right, for the directions, it says write the equation of a line that passes through uh, the given coordinate point and the given slope. So here in this problem, we have the slope is two and our given coordinate point is six comma zero. So right away, we have that our slope is two and we wanna know what x sub one and y sub one is. So x sub one and y sub one are given through the given coordinate points. So six is gonna be x sub one and my y sub one is gonna be zero. Now that I have my slope, x sub one and y sub one, I'm gonna go ahead and plug these three things into the point slope formula. So y minus sub one equals m times the quantity x minus x sub one. So y, it doesn't have a sub one, so y is gonna be the same, minus y sub one is gonna be zero, equals m, my slope is gonna be two, times x is going to be this first x right here is going to be is going to be kept the same because it doesn't have a subscript minus x sub one x sub one is six and now once you substituted all of these three values into the point slope formula you want to get y by itself and do a little bit of simplifying y minus zero that cancels out so we're just left with y equals Right here, we're going to do the distributive property. So multiply 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And we now created an equation, y equals 2x minus 12, given a slope and a coordinate point using the point-slope formula. All right, for our next problem, we're gonna write the equation of a line that passes through the coordinate point at the coordinate point and the given slope. So here I have a coordinate point, negative two comma one. Negative two is gonna be my x sub one because it's the x coordinate of my coordinate points. One is gonna be my y sub one because it's the y coordinate of my coordinate points. And my slope is two thirds. Given a coordinate point and a slope, I want to create an equation using the point slope formula. So I'm going to substitute my x sub 1, y sub 1, and my slope into the given equation. So I have y minus y sub 1 is 1 equals my m is 2 thirds times x minus x sub 1 is negative 2. Now, you have to be really careful because of the double negative, x minus negative two, put it in parentheses. Here you see the double negative and it becomes positive. So when I simplify, I'm gonna have y minus one equals, and then you distribute the two thirds into each term inside the parentheses. So we have two thirds times x. And then we have uh, two thirds times two. Well two, when I'm multiplying fractions, I'm taking this whole number and setting it over one. So two times two is four, and three times one is three. Next, I'm gonna add. Add one to both sides, this cancels, and I get y equals two thirds x plus four thirds plus one. Well, let me just do some scratch work here. Four thirds plus one. We want to make this new uh, denominator three. So we're going to multiply the denominator by three and the numerator. One times three is three. Four plus three equals seven. 
And since the denominators are the same, the final answer is going to have the same denominator. So we have 7 over 3. So our final equation is y equals 2 thirds x plus 7 over 3. You want to be careful with uh, substituting your x and y values uh, into the equation. Be careful of double negatives. You want to be confident with multiplying fractions with whole numbers. And you want to be careful with adding fractions as well. So if you don't know how to do that, please review it.